All right, guys, we are back on third gen content again. Um, it's my favorite content, and you know, the truck's paid for, and I'd like to keep it alive as long as I can. So, up today, we are doing the just the front rubber door seals. Um, so, if you're anything like mine, of course, you know, the rubber seals are probably dry rotted if not completely flat and they're allowing water and wind noise to come in i don't have water coming in but i do have wind noise especially on the passenger door so today's sponsor is rubber the right way they have a website it's www.rubber the right way um it was founded in the late 90s by robert barrows um the reason he started the company was he had a 1967 cadillac coupe um deville so if you guys know with older vehicles this is almost 20 years old, um, and I'm having trouble finding seals for the bottom of the door. But anyway, if you guys have an older vehicle, you know parts are sometimes obsolete. You can't find them. So he started making uh, rubber parts out of his garage, and then he teamed up with larger manufacturers to try to get parts shipped out all across the United States. Um, so his parts are made in the United States, and 25 years later, he is still making parts today for multiple vehicles. Obviously, he started out making Cadillac parts, but today we are on Dodge stuff. So let me show you the part numbers for the front door. Um, they work for left or right. And at the time that um, these were sent to me, they were $38.30 a piece. So he does make also rubber door seals. He makes the, the belt line right there. Um, and there's also a vertical strip that goes up and down there for the door. That's just some of the parts for the Dodges. So let me show you what he has, um, what he sent for us, and uh, we'll get into the install. So um, these are both of the front rubber door seals. This is one of the, um, back to one of the companies that he is working with to try to distribute these parts all across the United States. Um, this is the brand, and I can tell you from the little bit that I've opened up, it seems really, really good. So there, of course, is, get that flipped around. There's a sticker for it, and we'll go ahead and let me open this other one. I'll set it right next to the one that I'll leave it in the bag, and then we'll go over um, the actual material of it, and we'll see how it is compared to an OEM one. Okay. So according to online with these, um, it does show that these do not require any kind of trimming. They are supposed to be just like every inspect. So um, once... What I might do is I'll have to see how to pull the OEM ones off and then we're gonna line these up and see exactly how it is. So um, it looks like in the middle of these, right there you can see it has a metal core which kind of gives it its shape, but the rubber feels really, really good. It's really nice and soft, which will help with some of the wind noise and closing it up. As you can tell, it's soft and it is still squishy. So. Let's see if you can kind of tell what kind of shape it has. So to me, it looks like this would, the top part, um, this would go down the, we're gonna work on the driver's side. This would go down the driver's side pillar, pillar and then it should just snap in. So let's get into removal. And I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna have to all remove off of here. And then like I said, we'll line this up and um, get into the install. Okay. So just getting into this, um, this is actually how I found this company. Down here at the very bottom, it's a, um, I forget, a door sill guard, I think is what they call it. Um, that's what I was looking for when I originally found this company. But uh, the nice part about these rubber seals, it should be a really quick install. It looks like for the most part, um, it looks like it goes over top of all the plastics. The only one that you might have to remove would be down here. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna to try to stand out of the way and you might have to remove some of this. Okay, so this is pretty much how it goes. Um, you're just gonna to have to work your way around. Um, like I said, kick plate and I don't know how much more of it you're gonna have to remove. I don't know if, this should just pop off. Let me get a pry tool and we'll get into it. Uh, 
Sorry about the truck, it's filthy. So, just wanna make sure you guys are able to see this. We're gonna go ahead and start with removal of this. And of course, be careful if this is anything gonna be like my console that I might break stuff. You start over here. Once you get these started, it's pretty easy, but trying not to break everything is gonna be the tricky part. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on pause just for a second. Um, I actually have to go do something and I'm gonna finish removing that and I'll show you how all this comes apart. Um, like I said, everything snaps in. I'm just trying to be gentle with it. I'll show you how it snaps in, but I don't wanna work on it for five minutes and you look at it. So let me just show you how it comes apart and then we'll get into removal. Um, this part's obviously not rubber. The rubber the white, right way's fault. This is just dodge and how the interior goes together. So let me get this removed and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so like I said, sorry about the truck being filthy. I will clean it after this video, but I started back here and this is just going to just snap up all along the way. Um, I'm gonna show you the B pillar real quick because I don't think you're gonna have to remove. That one is pretty snug back here. All right, let me set you up on the seat real quick. That way you can kind of, actually it's not gonna work. All right, let me just try to get my fingers in here. There it is, okay. I love working on old plastic. So there you go. So this is literally the seam that I was talking about. Let me pull it off. That is where the, the rubber seals are gonna meet. So up here, um, this just pulled away. The plastic actually rides in, let me just zoom out, sorry. I'm gonna clean all this too. Plastic rides in this, so I'm gonna try to work on not removing it all because I don't want this to be a super, a whole interior part just for this rubber seal. But I think once you sneak it out there, it should be pretty much good to go. And like I said, this would be a really, really good time to sweep everything, but I wanna get this, um, the rest of this removed and uh, we'll set it next to his to see how it is. But this is stuff is really, really flat. It has just a little bit of movement, but this ain't even the bad side, but like, especially right here in the corner where the door meets, it is completely flat there. So we are going to get the rest of this removed real quick and I'll set you up on the back bench. All right, so there they are both laid out um, next to each other. Obviously the factory one, it's been in that shape for almost 20 years now. So it's going to be more of that shape. But once you get the other one in after a while, also will take care of that shape. But the, um, the center one is the original one. And then the outer one is the new one. So let's get you set back up on um, over here so you can watch and get this installed. And then we're gonna close the door and see if it makes any sound. I wish I would have did this originally. Actually, I guess I could do it over here. So this seal is, like I said, this one's worse than the drivers, but um, it should make a, should change how it sounds when you close the door. But so we're gonna see if it makes any sound. And then of course the real test is gonna be once we um, test drive this and make sure that there's no wind noise, but we can do all that too. But let's get you set up and we'll get the new one installed. All right, so um, I wanted to sweep out uh, around the seal and stuff, because obviously once it's down here, I could be able to. The whole truck's getting clean, but for right now, we're just trying to clean this area. So of course, when uh, you got to do this, driver, the passenger side's gonna be exactly pretty much the same. Um, on the, what would be the bottom of the A-pillar, there was a little tiny dirt mark from where the original two kind of met. And um, that is going to be my reference line. I'm just going to go ahead and follow that and then work my way all the way around. You're going to want to insert this into the deep groove here. So this part of the groove is what's going to go around the metal and stuff for the truck. So um, just take your time, make sure that it's not wrapped up or anything, and then just work your way around. I'm gonna put you on time-lapse real quick and we'll get this finished up.
Okay, so sorry I had a phone call. I had to turn the phone off. So um, specifically in the corners, you are going to have to push it down. And, of course, this seal is going to go ahead and ride, or this piece of plastic is going to go ahead and ride in that part of the seal. And when you get up top there, um, especially near the grab handle, um, easiest way I found is go ahead and slide it under there and work your way around to make sure that the rubber seal is seated on the headliner and we're going to go everywhere else. So let me get under there again. Um, all right, so I might need both hands to do this because uh, it's kind of hard. So um, in the corners, make sure that you push really, really hard. Um, so they fit all the way up there. This fits exactly like the, uh, the other one did right up against there and just all the corners. Um, it was the only issue that I really, really had was since it's new. And of course this trim fought me, which is my own fault cause I was lazy and didn't want to pull it off. But, um, just make sure it's really, really tight up in there. And same thing with this part of the rubber seal. Um, be gentle not to of course tear anything up, but you want that piece of plastic to sit down in there so let me finish this up real quick and i'll show you what it looks like all finished up okay so it's all the way around everything minus the kick plate is all back in um like i said everything i need to replace that too everything is really nice and soft um the only thing is you are going to have to trim this, which um, is a good thing. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So um, if there's ever any irregularities with the cab or anything, um, there's a little bit extra. So um, like I said, there's a piece of metal in there. So you're probably going to need something like a pair of snips. Um, hardest part for me installing this was around there just because I didn't want to pull it off. Um, corners, like I said, because this is it is fairly pre-bent but because it's brand new, it is a little hard to get into some of the corners. You just gotta make sure everything's good. But I'm gonna tuck this back in real quick and then that way you guys can hear what the difference sounds like when you close the door with the new rubber. So you definitely get a better thud. I don't know if it's gonna be able to be picked up on camera or not, but um, really hoping this will quiet it down some inside. It's already pretty loud, so. Um, let me get this cut. I'm going to put the kick plate on. I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely 100% finished. All right, so this is everything put back together. I hate weather techs, by the way. I'm not even cleaning them because I don't like them. Fits really, really good. Um, I'm going to take this for a test drive as soon as I get the other side finished up. Uh, like I said, the other side is exactly the same as this side. And um, it should stop with wind noise. So um, really, really happy with it. Again, thank you for... Um, watching up to this point and like i said if you guys have any other projects that have um it's an older vehicle that needs like new rubber seals or um for dodge he has multiple pieces including i think under the hood like for the cow um but if you guys have any other vehicles or anything that are in need of rubber strips check out his website again it's uh www.rubber the right way and he'll help you out with uh, whatever he can. And if he can, I'm sure he can lead you in the direction that you need. So a uh, huge shout out to him again. But thanks again for watching this video. Um, like, share, and subscribe. It, as always, it helps us out. And thanks for watching. All right, bonus part of this video, and we're going to finish it up. Um, as you can tell, I am doing 45. And I hear no more wind noise at all. Um, I guess I didn't realize how loud the driver's side was either until you put new rubber uh, seals up around the door, but it, it made such an incredible difference. So passenger side was really, really bad. You're not really gonna be able to hear it because the diesel's loud, but um, I could tell a difference. So definitely a good mod, especially for the price that you're paying. It's a lot quieter in here. And if you guys have an older diesel, you already know how that goes. So like I said, check them out. Um, and they have other vehicles on there other than just Dodge. So thanks again for watching.